All right, so we hit the VMware uh, booths is huge, right? Yeah, massive. We've got um, desktop virtualization, we've got TCO, we've got green messages. Over here, the towers, we've got reliability and availability. And at the back here, we've got the Genius Bar, so all of our experts sitting there answering questions. Yeah, yeah it's going really well. Genius Bar is VMware. VMware guys, yeah, so yeah. consultants, engineers, some of the business guys, just taking questions, you know. So uh, you can go to the Genius Bar and you can ask questions and people will answer? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So you go and ask the people who wrote the code, yeah. how does the product work, what are the inside tricks and tips, oh, yeah. how do I get some more information? And those guys will sit there. So yeah. yesterday we even had uh, Mendel, our chief scientist, sitting on the on the Genius oh, yeah. Bar for a couple of hours, just taking questions from the general public. So right. yeah, it's fantastic. Because uh, VMware is like number one, right? It's huge. So virtualization, VMware. Yeah, yeah we we kind of been working in this industry for well ten years now. Um, yeah. Virtualization platform. We got a hundred thousand unique customers now, individual customers yeah. running the VMware products. Yeah, fantastic. All over the world, right? Uh, All over the world, global. Yeah. So this is our first VMworld in, in EMEA, yeah. um, and it's been a huge success. We've had over 4,000 different people, vendors, customers, yeah. partners. Fantastic. Because uh, VMware is organizing the whole uh, conference, right? VMware is the event sponsor. So yeah. we have lots of sponsors of the events. VMware is the event sponsor. We have platinum sponsors, gold sponsors, silver sponsors. So lots of guys involved, lots of booths. Yeah. So it's an industry event, really, an industry event yeah. about virtualization. And we're really happy to, to sponsor this and also to get, you know, even competitors can come along. That's fantastic. Uh, because uh, previously the, the VMware events were uh, in Las Vegas, so where were they? Yeah, so traditionally we've done VMworlds in, in America. So last year it was in San Francisco. Yeah. The year before that it was in L.A. Yeah. Um, later on in 2008 we'll have an event in, in Vegas for American customers, partners. Right. But we thought it'd be good to, you know, try, we're becoming a global company. Yeah. We have customers all around the world. So, yeah, why not have a VMworld in Europe? This so, is the first. It's been a great success. So can you show some of the new cool things that you... you yeah, have? sure. Yeah. Come along. So I'm going to show you some of the desktop stuff. Yeah. Um, Christoph, can you show a demo of the VDM, please? Okay. Hey, this is Christoph Dimmermuth, one of our specialist SEs yeah. for Central. Okay. Can you talk while he's showing? Because yeah, there's sure. Only one mic. So right. what we've got here is, um, so this is virtual desktop infrastructure, or VDI, yeah. and this is becoming a really hot topic. So we've got loads of customers running um, centralized desktops, running on VMware to, yeah. to make their management of their PC infrastructure better. And Christoph's going to show a new product which we've released about a month ago, earlier on in 2008. Yeah. So this is the VMware Virtual Desktop Manager. So Christoph, run up the VDM client. So this is a client um, running on a, on a PC here. And what we're going to do is remotely connect into the virtual desktop. So this is um, what an end user might do. Why don't, you, why don't you log on and launch some apps, Christoph? Launch a desktop. So log on. It's a log on box, right? Log on this, box. This is the first thing the user sees. So log on box, you type in your username, your password. Very simple. Now, at the back end, we've got a very sophisticated connection broker going on. Yeah. So this is selecting how to connect an end user to a back-end virtual desktop. The moment it's going through authenticating. Yeah. So that's authenticated the user against their existing account, their existing domain account. Yeah. And it's pulled out all of the, all of the desktops that that user is entitled to access. Okay. So Christoph's entitled to a few here. Christoph, why don't you connect up to one of those? The call center. So he's choosing to connect up to the call center pool of virtual desktops. And VDM right. is selecting a virtual machine. You, you probably yeah. noticed it logged the user in automatically there. Right. And it's, so there's a, this is a virtual desktop running in the data center, running on VI3, running on the platform. And the, the end user from a remote location is basically accessing it just like a PC. It's so just like a PC. It's just like a PC. So for the end user, there's a really rich experience here of applications, you know, multimedia, all of those things. But at the back end for the administrator, it's centrally managed. It's running on the VI platform. We've got all of those VI enterprise features like, you know, the vMotion, the vMHA, the DRS, all of that stuff. But to the end user, just a, a rich, rich desktop experience. Fantastic. All right. Let me show you another product. So, so VMware's recently got into application virtualization. Um, so we acquired a company called Thinstall. Um, and so this is about running virtual applications on top of virtual desktops. And I'm going to try and interrupt to get Jeannie to, to demonstrate this. Sorry, Jeannie, can I interrupt? Can you do a, a demo of Thinstall? So can, can you explain what's going on? 
Yeah. Hey Jeannie, why don't you explain what's going on during the yeah. demo? Okay, let's pass on the mic. Uh, do you know what Thinstall is? I don't know. Yeah, just explain, explain what's coming on the screen. So Thinstall does for the OS what VMware does for the um, the hardware. So uh, VMware Workstation separates the hardware from the operating system, and Thinstall separates the application from the OS. So what we do is we pull all the components needed from the registry into a nice little virtual bubble around the application. So you can deploy it in user-only mode. Everything can be locked down, no admin rights, no security risks. And then you can deploy it like any other MSI or .exe with your existing infrastructure. There's no agents. There's no admin tools. There's no servers on the back end to configure. You use what you have today. All right. Can you show something on the screen? Sure. We do it in a simple three-step process. So what I'm going to show you right now Hold on a second. Okay. I've got to I've got to install the Thinstall suite. I went back a little too far. So okay. what you see here is the Thinstall setup capture utility. Yeah. It's a simple three-step process. So say you want to package an app. You see one, two, three. First you do a pre-scan. We have the fastest pre-scan in the market. So basically through this process we capture all the H key local registry settings, all the user settings that are needed to create that little registry hive. And within that, as it's scanning the system, it's pulling all the pieces that you're going to need before. So this is a completely clean virtual machine. So what that means is there's nothing on this machine. Remember, garbage in, garbage out. So if you have a machine that's dirty, well, then you're going to pick up things within those files that you're not necessarily going to need. So the next step in this process is simply to install your application. So in this case, we're going to install Mozilla Firefox. Yeah. So as you can see, probably the most expensive thing in the process is installing the application and take the longest amount of time. So within this... So, so basically that means that every user can install whatever they want or...? Well, no, there's nothing actually installed. So what I'm doing is I'm packaging the application. So this is how you would package the application in a three-step process. And that is it. That's all the admin. Uh, Who is doing that? Is that the admin or...? The administrator is doing yes. that. If you want to see what the users would see, yeah. what I can take you to, okay. one of our resellers has a site called thindownload.com. Yeah. If you go to thindownload.com, what you will see here again is Mozilla Firefox. Its package is an EXE. You would just double click. You can save the file. So, so the, the end user would access this thing download.com? They can either access thing download.com or they can actually, if, if it's an end user that wants the software yeah. and they want to try it, they can do the thing download.com. We have a beta of the product today. They can go to our beta site at vmware.com and download the beta. The other thing is if an end user, if you want to deploy the application, you deploy it how you deploy native applications today. So how you would deploy your Office, your Word, like any other native application through SMS, through Altiris, through BMC Marimba, through Landesk, you deploy because it's an MSI or an EXE, it plugs into that backend inventory, configuration management, software distribution server, same policies apply. So the end user, the only thing they see is the virtual application. They can go to the start menu, It'll pull up the actual um, application like it would if it was natively installed. So the user knows no difference. There's no impact to your end user. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks.